going to teach you guys how to set up your own Rust desk server. Yeah. And this is the official website link. And this is the download link for the Rust desk client. They support the Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Linux, Android, and iOS, and so on. So uh, we can download the client right now for later usage. And then here is a self host for the local server or remove server. So um, I mean, I will go for the local server first. Remove server will be later on. Okay, uh, we go to the tutorial because um, we are going to choose for the Docker to set up our server. Because I think the Docker is the most easier way to set up the server. Docker Compose. Yeah. So now we go to the tutorial page and then we select for the Docker Compose. Yeah. So I'm using the Mac OS, uh, which is uh, Mac OS also a Linux based. I'm the 64 bit MD. So LRM is not uh, for my architecture. LRM I think should be for the Apple Silicon. But you can try both, see which one will work for you. But uh, I will go for this, Linux AMD 64. So you just copy this, uh, this uh, content and then now you can open a new folder, Rust Desk Tutorial. And then the prerequisites of using Docker, right? You must install the Docker desktop. So you just go to Google to download the Docker desktop. So there's a multiple selection, Mac, Apple Silicon, Windows, Linux, and so on. So once you, once you download and install the Docker, right? So make sure you have the Docker compose command. So you go to the terminal, once you install the docker, you must try to run this command, docker compose version. Or you can try docker dash compose version, either one. So both, uh, either one works, then you can run the docker compose file. So now you have created the this folder right so you open it with the visual studio code or any editor you do so now we just go inside and create a new file called docker compose yaml file and then paste the content that we just copy from the website from here the linux md64 so i think almost is done so this example.com so uh, this is a domain. If you want to re uh, remotely connect uh, the Rust Desk server remotely, so you have to change to your, uh, you have the public domain and then point to your local host with the port forwarding or you can directly use the local server IP. But make sure you have connected to the same Wi-Fi to have a same connection. Okay, now, so, I'm uh so I'm using so this is my local host. Okay, save it, and then we can run our Docker Compose service up. So once up, just stay for a while. So this will display here the Rust test server. Service is running. So it's running. Okay. So when it's running, you you open up your Rust Desk server. Uh, sorry, Rust Desk client. So once your Rust Desk client, you will see the bottom the status ready for the faster connection. Please set up your own server. So after you have uh up your server, right, the Rust Desk server. And then you go to the this dot for more option for drop down and then you select the ID and relay server. So this server 
you have to put your local IP address of this machine, of this machine that run this uh, Rustex server. Okay, and then you put the 21116. This is the port number that we're using. So we put OK. So what do you put OK? You see, the prompt is gone now and it's show as ready. All right, now I'm going to connect my iPhone. I will screen share my iPhone. Uh, I will screen share my iPhone to the screen. So uh, I will show you how I connect my iPhone to the to remotely manage the uh, my Mac OS. Okay. So now uh, I have to run the QuickTime server. I don't know, not the server, the QuickTime application. And then new movie recording. And then iPhone, yeah. So you can see my iPhone here. And then um, we have to go to App Store, install the Rustest, Rustest client. Rustest client. Okay. So install, we go to the app store and then input our ID here. So you ignore this one. This is our ID. So we can see 327631226. But before that, you have to um, key in your ID server. So ID server is the same as the just now we set up. 168.1.108 2116 is the port number we are using so okay now we try to connect so now it's prompt to connect so we just accept it yep so um, I think there's a issue here so now should be okay we just have to hide this screen recording. Oh, yeah, you see, I'm using my phone to control, but you cannot see for now. Yep, so now you can control your screen with the iPhone. And there's many options here, you can put stretch. <laughs> And put the uh, optimized reaction quality, show the remove cursor, and so on, so on. Okay. You can do much thing remotely. So this is how you set up the local server. But now if you want to go for, um, I mean, if you want to go for the remove server, right? So meaning anywhere you can use. So you don't use the local IP. This is uh, 127.0.0.1 is uh, means to your local host. If you have a public uh, domain, you can set up from anyway. Yeah, this is my public IP that point to my machine locally. And I up and have opened some uh, port forwarding. If you want to know this more, comment down to let me know. Okay, this is how I set up. And okay, okay. Now I we have to restart the server. We have to restart the server. Okay. It's stopping. You can see it's still stopping here. Wait for a second. Yep, it's gone. And it's running now. Yep, it's running. Still ready. Because um our local uh, relay server is ready on. But now we can change to our public address.
click OK, you will see the the is connecting to Rust server. Oh, sorry, my name is redirect, web redirect. My bad. To restart the server. And then here we put web redirect. Okay, click OK, and then back for connecting. Okay, now it's ready. You see, now it's ready. But the service is still restarting. But it's ready because this uh, public IP is point, point to my port forwarding to my local machine. So we have to restart the server. Yeah, it's restarted. And then from our phone, we can close this. And then from the ID relay server, we can put our public I public uh, domain. So when you go anywhere with your iPhone, make sure your web redirect dot watch. So when you go anywhere, if your local machine and your home is open and you can connect with your iPhone or Android anyway. So you just accept it. Yeah, now it's ready, you see. Okay. I think um thanks that's all for the tutorial today. Thank you so much and see you again.